Hey, Sean here from speedqbview.com. I have to remember to say that because apparently I forgot to last time. So today was the end of the third day of nationals. This is going to be my last vlog reflections video because tomorrow is finals. I actually have a list up here. There, It starts with uh, at 8 a.m. four blind finals, different rounds for 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, pure minx. It just goes through all the finals. I didn't make finals for any of the events. So... Yeah, I'll just be talking about other people's solves, which is not really what I want to do. So I'm just going to go through the day, go through kind of my final thoughts with Nationals and what it's like to be here for people who have never been to a competition this big or a competition at all. So I didn't really have... I had actually more events today than I had other times. I had 2 by 2 and then um, 4 by 4 blindfold and 3 by 3 and then the final FMC solve. And two by two, so my two by two, I had the YJMGC and the magnets all fell out. I They had not fallen out after hundreds and thousands of solves and suddenly they do once I go on a plane. I don't know if something happened with that, with the pressure, I don't know what it was, but or just coincidence. I tried gluing them back in, but I was like, that's a lot of different magnets and I don't have the right kind of glue. And luckily, Blake Thompson lent me his cube. I Although the Volk 2 is a nice two by two, it's nothing like the MGC and I was not comfortable with it. So... My solves could have been okay, but I just was not comfortable with it, and I ended up having really bad locking issues on the last layer, but that is my own fault. I'm not blaming the cube for that. Then on to 4x4. Four four. Did I say 4x4? Four four? No, that already happened. Blindfold. And as far as blindfold goes, there'll be times I'll get three successes in a row. Sometimes I DNF, and it depends on how fast I'm trying to go. Um, my best time at a competition was something something around 2.30, and but I've had times at home, like, just below a minute 30, and also way worse. Uh, my goal was to have a mean, because I don't have a mean of 3 in any competition, and so the first solve, I really am slow with it, and I'm careful, and I finish the solve, and there's one edge out of place. And I'm like, well, okay, what should I do? Should I just try to get really okay solves, or just go for a PB single? So I'm like, I'm going to go for PB single. It was bad. I haven't practiced really blind much at all. And both the first solve and the second solve, I rushed memorization. And I get a few pieces in solved. And then I'm like, I have no idea what I memorized anymore. My short-term memory just went away. And I didn't solve fast enough for short-term memory to work. And it wasn't memorized well enough to be in long-term memory. So, yeah, I completely horribly DNF. And I had to actually take a walk afterwards and remind myself that I purposefully did that. I purposely told myself I'm going to either get a really great single or just DNF it. And yeah, that's what happened. So then I had three by three. The first solve actually ended up, the timer glitched and I had to get an extra solve. The extra solve, and this is where I realized my brain is either completely exhausted or you know, something else is going on because I've had so many times like, actually, I had a 2x2 two two solve where I completely didn't solve the first layer. I meant to, and then when I tried to, I did a move wrong, and I took, had to start over. But 3x3, three three, so the second solve, my extra first solve, I, in, in the middle of solving it, I feel like it could easily be a sub-10 second solve, which would have been my first at a competition, and I get to the final F2L pair, and I go to insert it, and I go to do OLL, and I'm like, oh, hey, one of the F2L edges is still in the top layer. That I just tried to insert. I don't know why. I have to figure out what I did. Then the second solve, same idea. I didn't have as great of a time to start, but I'm like, oh, let me just insert this final F2L edge, and oh, the edges in there flipped. So I had to go back and do that. I did make it on the live stream. They put me, I don't know if it's on purpose or on accident, but they put me in the booth for the video. I didn't know what it was. I thought actually someone just left a camera there. I didn't realize that was the live stream table. And I put my camera in front of me, and Kevin Hayes called me out for not having uh, the correct camera protocol <laughs> for live streaming. So, because I completely covered my solve. Uh, uh, Speaky reviews a dirty camera in front of the cube solver. You can't see anything. Absolute garbage. It was it was kind of a cool one. I solved orange cross, and I did an X cross, and it was a pseudo cross where the cross isn't completely solved, but I fixed it during PLL. I got a PB average on 4x4, so I feel like I accomplished something with that. But this was probably the worst performance I've had in any competition. Now, Michigan 2019 is less than a week away. It's like six days away. And 
I'm excited for that. I think it'll be a little bit better because it's not super exhausting. So my, my thinking of why I wasn't quite prepared mentally for this is because of all the downtime. There's so much time in between each event and you don't have jobs. Like I'm not set to judge or scramble or do any of that stuff because of that. they're already pre-staffed for that, that my brain was just never ready to do the next thing. Even though I might be practicing, it was never ready for that. And yeah, if you've never been to a competition, it's such a large venue. There's so many things to do. And it's kind of a competition where you're not, you're not expected to just be sitting in that room for a full day. You're almost expected to leave and go explore the convention hall, go, you know, just down the hall to BronyCon or, or go down the street and to a restaurant. When, when you go to a competition that's more local, sometimes you're kind of expected to just be there all day. Maybe we'll leave for lunch for a half an hour and then come back. So it's a very different experience. I'm amazed at how smoothly so many things ran. Rarely did any group get behind. There's, I think the closest that happened was on two by two, I got a, they got about 10 minutes behind in my table, which, which caused an issue with me borrowing uh, a cube, but it stayed so steady. And the fact that that stayed steady and everything was organized well with screens. And, and so you could just look at this big projector and see when you're ready to go. You can get text messages that will say, it's your turn to go up and do such and such. And the text messages, if you register for that, will tell you when you're ready to do it. Um, there's all these different things that help everything run really well. So big shout out to just the staffing, uh, the WCA, everyone who helped put this together. It was great. I, I hope that I'm able to come to the next year's nationals. So thank you everyone for watching this. I got a lot of people that said they really enjoyed these videos. I'm enjoying making them. That's about it. Okay, so thank you very much. I'm actually going to go now. Have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you are at Nats, and if not, hopefully I see everyone else a little bit later. Thank you. Absolute garbage.